Look big guys, and today we're playing Profiles of Forgotten Rebel. We're on the final chapter, chapter six, Step Sister. Okay, this is this is for all the cookies and graham crackers. All right, here we go. Could that be my stepsister? I've never seen her once. Chat room, last chance. <laughs> this is it, Jason. Where are you? Oh my God. Blake, Solitude, you have to come now. This is our last chance coming. I really hope this explains a lot of the story of what's going on. I am, I am beyond confused of what's going on at this point. Leave. Okay, no option there. This is it, guys. This is it. For all the cookies and graham crackers. Balls deep and running. Alright, I'm not going to even take the car. Holy crap, my guy's like pro. My guy's a triathlon right here, guys. Why not just take a car? It's so much easier. Am I actually going to see my sister? Step sister. Gotta love the shaky cam, guys. She is actually there. Oh my god. She's alive. I thought she was dead this entire time. I really did. What the frick are we? I'm, uh, we're going for a quick fishing trip or something? Oh, there's a freaking rainbow! Holy crap! Oh, that's cool. It was many and many a year ago, in a kingdom by the sea, that a maiden there lived, whom you may know, by the name of Annabelle Lee. Oh my and god. this maiden she lived with no other thought than to love and be loved by me. For I was a child, and she was a child, in this kingdom by the sea. But we loved with a love that was more than love. She looks kind of like I am my Annabelle Lee. With a love that the winged seraphs of heaven coveted her and me. And this was the reason that, long ago, in this kingdom by the sea, a wind blew out of a cloud by night, chilling my beautiful Annabelle Lee, so that her highborn kinsman came and bore her away from me. To shut her up in a sepulchre in this kingdom by the sea. The angels, not half so happy in heaven, went envying her and me. Yes, this was the reason, as all men know, in this kingdom by the sea, that the wind blew out of the cloud by night, chilling and killing my Annabelle Lee. But our love, it was okay. stronger far than the love of those it, that were older than we of many far wiser than we, and neither the angels in heaven above, nor demons down under the sea, can ever dissever my soul from the soul of the beautiful Annabelle Lee. For the moon never beams without bringing me dreams of the beautiful Annabelle Lee, and the stars never rise but I see the bright eyes of the beautiful Annabelle Lee, and so all the night tide I lie down by the side of my darling my darling, my life, and my no, bride. No, it's gonna happen. In the sepulchre there by the sea. In her tomb by the sounding sea.
think you guys know what's gonna happen, right? I'm pretty positive I know what's gonna happen here. I'm pretty positive. Loving memory of Ram Choi. Why is that so creepy? Okay. That was it, guys. Holy crap. Okay, I want to see this. I knew it! Okay, the stepsister and Pink were the same person. I knew it the entire time. I was like, what the frick is going on? That looks just like the same actor. Okay, it is. Holy crap. Yo. Okay, in the last episode, when it said stepbrother kissed stepsister, and stepbrother pushed him off, and I guess he drowned. Okay, the entire time when I was playing, I was so confused at what the heck they're talking about. I thought Jason was dead the entire time. That was from the pat. That was just saying what's going to happen for the future, and you're not supposed to know that until it happened. And yeah, Jason, he got pushed off and drowned. He drowned. Oh my god. I think that's how that- I think- I think that's how that happened, so. Holy crap. You know, I actually enjoyed that a lot. I really did. Holy crap, that was good. The first few chapters, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. I absolutely almost had no idea what was going on. Like, Pink just disappeared randomly. I still don't know what was happening. I don't if Pink, was she even a real person? Because, like, she was constantly disappearing. Like, she was just a spirit or something. I'm not sure. I don't freaking know. I'm gonna either watch other people play this to see what they thought of Pink, because... She was, like, when the stepbrother pushed him, she just disappears. Like, I don't know what was going on. She disappeared constantly on me. I don't even know if she was there. She might have been my imagination of, like, since I, I had missed my sister for so long, I came up with this random person in my mind named Pink, and that was supposed to take the place of my stepsister. I don't know. I'm, I'm just basically... These are just theories at this point. I have no idea. So. Wow. That was good. And people were dying all around, apparently. So was my stepbrother or was it Jason that was doing the killing? I think it was my stepbrother, because when he was giving me that speech, when I had to listen to his speech that one time, he sounded crazy from there. I just figured he was kind of crazy, but I didn't know he was killer crazy. Okay, the game literally just ended on me, so... Wow. What an intense ending, guys. Okay, I had a feeling that was going to happen. But the thing is now that... Okay. Did Jason kiss his stepsister when they were on that little balcony thing? Or when they were on the boat when she was sad crying? Was that when Jason fell off and was drowning and they had to leave him? Like, I, I don't know when he drowned there. Cause, drowned. Wait, is that the same word? When he drowned. That's a word. Okay. 
I, I'm, I'm just lost. I'm gonna have to probably watch my entire play of this again because I'm not sure what. There's a bit of there's a bit of crazy things. I okay. I'm just gonna replay. I'm gonna rewatch. I'm gonna replay this entire game on my own time to gather more thoughts of what I just witnessed, pretty much. So that was insane. Holy crap! I loved it. it was profiles of that was freaking profiles of the forgotten. I hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks for watching. That I took all the pain, all the looks they kill me inside. Never felt so alone, never peace of my soul, the range of my bones, and known and gone. Is that the problem? that I'm gone, everything seems so weird, where it belongs again, feels like I'm home, and just as I talk, what a battle's what I fought, brave one and I lost, never knew what I sought, now that I'm strong, nothing fears me no more, behind every locked door, you see, love equals war. In my mind, it's all fine. All the fears are behind. I don't care what I find. It's still about me. Still about me.